Have you guys ever got stuck somewhere before? I'm not sure what's worse, being stuck somewhere when you're alone because there's nobody else to help you out, or being stuck somewhere in front of other people because it can be a little bit embarrassing. Well, wherever you've been stuck before, I promise you it is not as bad as the people on this list. I am Danny Burke, and this is the top 10 worst places people got stuck. You may also enjoy our top 10 worst OCD stories. Check that out after this video, but for now, we are starting off at our number 10 with the prison escape. In 2012, a bizarre story emerged from Brazil about a prisoner who got stuck during a prison escape. This is the site that guards at the Ceres prison found. An inmate named Dorival Rodriguez stuck in the wall of his prison cell. Now, the inmates have made the hole using a metal pipe from the prison's shower. The first one escaped just fine, but when Dorival tried, he got stuck hard and ended up blocking the other inmates. Guards were alerted to the scene when Dorival started screaming out in pain. They took these pictures, you guys are seeing while waiting for the fire department to arrive and cut him out. Pretty embarrassing for the prison, but even more, I think, for the evil. Next up at number nine now, we have the ski lift. In 2009, some hilarious pictures came out of a Colorado ski resort of this man who fell out of a ski lift and ended up stuck in this position. Now, we don't know what his name was, which is understandable, but we do know that a 48-year-old man was dangling there for about 15 minutes before being rescued. As you can see, that was more than enough time for people to snap a few pictures of his bare backside. I'm a little bit scared about laughing at this one in case karma comes to bite me on my backside. At the number eight spot now, we have the Pooh Girl. In September 2017, a hilarious story emerged from Bristol in the UK about a Tinder date gone horribly wrong. Liam Smith had gone on a date with a woman from Tinder. It went quite well. They ended up back at his place with a bottle of wine. Now, while they were there, she went to go and use the toilet, but let's just say it wouldn't flush. She panicked and wrapped up her poop in tissue paper to throw it out of the window. However, the window was double glazed with a gap in between and the poo ended up getting stuck in between the two windows. She tried to reach in and grab it, but then she got stuck there too. This is how Liam found her. The fire department arrived and managed to save her. Although very embarrassed, the unnamed girl said that Liam was really good about it all and they even went on a second date. Ah. Coming in at number seven now, we have the elevator. In 1999, a man called Nicholas White was stuck in an elevator for 41 hours. It was an express elevator in New York's McGraw Hill building where he worked. The elevator got stuck on the 13th floor and just didn't move. After a while, he pried the door open with his hands only to see a concrete wall with 13 written on it. What you guys are seeing right now is the condensed security footage of the 41 hours that he was stuck in that elevator. The other cameras there show people just going about their normal day. White ended up suing the building's owners, but had to settle for an amount much smaller than you'd expect if somebody's negligence left you in an elevator for almost two whole days. Crazy. Moving on to number six now, we have Daniel Chong. This student was arrested as part of a police raid in 2013. The police soon realized he wasn't the guy they were looking for, so they decided to keep him in solitary confinement and deal with him later. They then forgot he was in there for four days. Chong was left in a windowless cell in the darkness, handcuffed and without food or any water. He thought he had been left there to die by the police and he even carved a final message to his mother on his body. He started hallucinating on day three. Officers eventually heard a banging coming from the cell and realized they had forgotten all about him. Well, they won't ever forget about him again. Chong ended up suing them for four million dollars. Good. Good for him. Moving on to number five now, we have the bathroom. In 2010, a story emerged of a 69 year old French woman who was trapped in her own bathroom for 20 days. She couldn't get the door open and with no phone, she was unable to let anyone know that she was even in there. As the days went on, her neighbors didn't hear her cries out of the window and when she banged on the pipes to try and get their attention, they thought it was just construction. After almost three weeks in there, somebody noticed the woman had been missing and that her mail had been stacking up. That is when they found her, weak after surviving on just tap water, but thankfully very much alive. Coming at number four now, we have the roller coaster. In 2007, 18 visitors to a theme park in China had a horrible experience when the roller coaster they were on got stuck upside down. It took staff half an hour to get them down from this position. By that time, six of them had fallen ill. They ended up going to hospital. It turns out that this was due to a safety feature. You see, the ride was hit by a gust of wind, and in that scenario, it's programmed to just freeze wherever it is for the passenger's safety. 
safety. Now unfortunately for these people it froze upside down during a loop leaving them suspended in the air. Just imagine if you guys got over your fear of roller coasters only for this to happen. Next up at number 3 now we have Ben Carpenter. This story is just crazy. 21 year old Ben Carpenter was crossing the road in his wheelchair in Michigan one day when a truck slowly bumped into him. The driver just hadn't seen him and Ben's father had to watch as the wheelchair became lodged in the grill of the truck and just get carried off by it. Ben was stuck on the front of the vehicle for several miles reaching speeds of 50 miles per hour. Police managed to pull the truck over and the driver was said to be in total disbelief that this had happened. Ben and his wheelchair left the scene unharmed. Next up at number 2 now guys we have Stefan Slevins. In 2005 Stefan was pulled over in New Mexico for a DUI. Now the police said that he showed signs of mental illness so they put him in solitary confinement. You guys might know where this is going based on a previous one on this list. However it wasn't 4 days they put him in there for like last time. The police refused to let Stefan go for almost 2 years years. They wouldn't let him contact a lawyer, his family, nobody. He was just trapped. His clothes were falling off his body and his teeth rotted so much he had to pull them out himself because they refused to take him on a trip to the dentist. Eventually, just before the two year mark, they dropped the charges and let him go. Stefan sued for 22 million dollars. That works out to be about a million dollars for every month of his life that the police took away from him. I think that seems quite fair. What do you guys think of this crazy story? And finally, at number one now guys we have Aaron Ralston. Now if you guys have ever seen the movie 127 hours well it's based on the true story of this guy. In 2003 Aaron was hiking alone in Utah. He was descending into a canyon when a boulder dislodged smashing his hand and then pinning it against the canyon wall. He told nobody where he was going that day. He spent five days there eating and drinking the little supplies he had and he thought he was going to die. He even carved his own date of birth and presumed death date on the canyon wall. Then the next day he decided to cut himself free. Aaron used a dull 2 inch knife to amputate his right forearm. He scrambled out into the wilderness losing blood quickly. Luckily he was found by some tourists who managed to get him help. 7 years later the horrific event was immortalized in the Oscar nominated movie 127 hours. Make sure you guys go and check that movie out but not if you're squeamish. Pretty intense. Well all of those made me feel very glad that I'm not stuck somewhere right now. Where do you think the worst place for you guys to get stuck would be? Perhaps you guys are stuck on a most amazing top 10 video marathon. Good luck to you if you are. Thanks as always for watching guys. My name is Danny Burke and I will see you all in the next video. <laughs>